now we shall add a Facebook login button which when clicked will take us to the Facebook page. We have already created a Facebook app. Now it's the time to add a Facebook login button. So basically this is our objective. Some sort of Facebook login hyperlink should appear so that when the user clicks it he is taken to the Facebook and the authorization process starts. So we have to do this one in this particular video and we'll add necessary NuGet packages so that the Facebook code can be wired also and we'll write a couple of helper classes to get going for the Facebook login absolutely from scratch. No code pre-written by the Visual Studio. Entire code totally written by us using the NuGet packages. Let us see how to do that. So at the minimum we have to come to our controllers folder and add a home controller. So that is the minimum that we have to always do. So right click add controller. We'll call it home controller and click add. And also simultaneously let us add an index method index view uh, index view uh, click add so a view will be created for us here we'll type something for the link button at the rate HTML dot action link the link text will be click to login and uh, this will hit the login action which we'll add in a moment. So this is what we have written and let us try to run it to see whether uh, things have started speaking or not. This is what we get. So it means our things are working correctly. This should give error because we haven't yet implemented the login action. Okay, before we proceed further, let us add the necessary NuGet packages. So you'll go to Tools, Library Package Manager, Package Manager, Console. This is what appears. This is a PM prompt that appears here. So we'll have to write install hyphen package followed by dot net open auth and hit enter your internet should be there and uh, installation will start in a moment so this process will take quite some time as you are seeing The process is taking a lot of time and it is likely to take. Patience is required. So the process completes at this point. Now we have added the necessary NuGet packages and let us scroll to the top from where we started. We started here install hyphen package dot net open auth and it has taken a lot of time and completed successfully now it's time to add helper classes before we go on to implement this action called login 
come to the solution explorer and add a, a folder called utility that will hold our utility classes right click add folder so I usually create a utility like folder and this will contain our helper classes and one more thing because we uh, Facebook communicates through JSON we have to serialize and deserialize the requests between C sharp and JSON so right click on the references and add reference we have to add system dot runtime it will be towards the end of the list and serialization it's already there system dot runtime dot serialization this is already there if it is not there then you should add it click OK so it's already there Facebook API's are typically called graph API so keeping in the same terminology we'll add a class here called Facebook graph you could have given any name it's just for terminology sake that we have given it this name and here we'll add the code for serialization deserialization story we'll mark it as data contract if it doesn't show up right click and resolve so it will show up here and now we'll add members for this a discussion of the Facebook graph APIs is really beyond the scope of this tutorial so you will have to refer those for your own self-study but right now I'm quickly adding data members that will map to the various parameters that work with Facebook graph APIs so data uh, member name is ID so I am quickly typing them off because it's this discussion is really beyond the uh, scope of this tutorial but you can roughly understand that they refer to the first name last name of the so having written this we'll have to add certain methods for deserialization and serialization also here we are typing them off it's a data contract JSON serializer right click it resolve using system dot runtime dot serialization dot JSON you can have a look at the intelligence that is there system dot runtime dot serialization dot JSON dot data contract JSON serializer we need this as a data member we can type deserialize from a stream if JSON stream is null through an exception otherwise it will uh, return a deserialized Facebook graph object for us we also need to add one more function for deserialization from a string so we can quickly type it off it is deserialized from a string this one completes your this class I can show it once again Facebook graph data member this whole class is also shown in the book that you are getting with this tutorial so we added and this is also available in the source code also deserialize JSON stream and this is the completed Facebook graph class 
we'll also have to add a couple of more helper classes to it. We'll start typing them near the top here so that it is visible. This is an implementation of iClient authorization tracker. We'll have to resolve using .NET Open Auth .oauth2. So this is the line that has been added at the using. Discussion of these classes is actually beyond the scope of this tutorial. You will still have to go to and refer to .NET Open Auth website. The same library is used by Microsoft's Visual Studio that auto generates the code when you write a Facebook project for MVC project. When you use the Facebook uh, this uh, template, the same class is used by the Visual Studio, but we are writing it chunk by chunk and this is the bare minimum code whereas the code that the Visual Studio adds a lot of secondary classes and lot of uh, complicated stuff is added. We need to add one more class to this file and then it will complete off. So we can begin to add that class somewhere here. It is an implementation. Uh, we have to come from a class called web server client these are the references to your Facebook website so this is what is required as the third class in this file we have implemented iClient authorization tracker and inherited a class from web server client and we added a Facebook graph class for serialization and deserialization of the requests. This all is available in the source code in case you want to use this copy paste stuff because we haven't added anything specific to this. This is therefore a plumbing you can simply copy this class to use in your own projects. We have made no references to a specific project here. It's a totally general class. This class is in place now. Before we close this lecture, we'll add one more helper class here, utility, to hold constants. Add class, we'll call it C constants. So we'll add two constants to this one. Administrator. In this case, uh, this is the Facebook login ID of the administrator. This is a rather strange way of doing things, but I'm explaining the concept. So, so as we told you that this uh, project is meant for a single administrator. This is the Facebook login ID of the administrator and the second is we are going to store use session variable to store the login information. So we'll give the session variable a name here so that typing mistakes don't cause problems. This is the name of the session variable and this is any string we'll be using this session variable throughout our project so we'll pick the name from this constant here in case uh, there are certain problems because we'll be using this in if we don't 
if we commit let us say certain typing mistake here then the project will not be able to work properly so to prevent such typing mistakes we have created a variable here so that we can always refer it through C constants dot session underscore logged. That is the sole purpose here. Okay. So now our constants and utility classes are there. And in our next lecture, we'll begin to write the code for the login action. Thanks.